Before diving to the Spring Tutorial section, we want to examine the history and the creation process of a standard Java API or framework. We want to examine how APIs and standards are shaped inside a language like Java or a framework like Java Enterprise Edition or Spring. These APIs form the experience of programmers and how they interact with tools and frameworks. The APIs and the way how we use them as programmers could make our lives easier or could make it worse and complicated. So before committing our lives to tools and frameworks vendors, it matters who is deciding about us and what is the process. So let's dive into the process of how a Java API or a specification is formed and is standardized in Java community. The standards of Java EE are developed as part of the Java community process or JCP for short. The JCP is a committee under Oracle, which has created a democratic process that actively encourages participation in defining standards for Java community APIs. Anybody from individuals to companies could become a member and participate in the process of defining, shaping, and voting for APIs. And hence, everybody could participate in shaping the experience and future of programmers and companies. So for example, say someone sees all these different libraries and frameworks for HTTP client like OKHTTP, OK Apache HTTP, Java URL connection, and etc. And wonders, it would be nice if all these HTTP client libraries had um, the same interface and API. The developers did not need to learn different frameworks for the same job. Then what she does is she became become a a member of the JCP committee and submits a common and standard API for all past and future HTTP clients. This standard request is named JSR or Java Specification Request. The JCP seeks standardizing the APIs in the form of JSRs. These JSRs are not only about Java EE, but also even for the APIs inside the Java language itself. For example, Rod Johnson, the creator of Spring Framework, has introduced the JSR named Dependency Injection for Java. That is defined as JSR number 330. This JSR shaped and changed the way the dependency injection tools works, and although other members like IBM and Red Hat did not vote for it, this JSR won the election process and became the de facto standard for DI frameworks. In order for a new API request to be eligible to become a standard, the vendor and the introducer must provide an implementation allowing the introduced API. So as you have guessed, the JSRs or Java specification requests are a set of Java interfaces and abstract classes that does not have any implementation and they just only define how users and developers will interact and use the API. After defining that, more vendors try to implement a technology that conforms and implements the JSR. But the introducer must provide an implementation at the first place. So now you know that, for example, the way you interact and use relational databases is defined by a bunch of interfaces in JDBC JSR. And vendors like MySQL have provided an implementation to that JSR uh, by, for example, the MySQL JDBC driver. This driver knows how to connect to MySQL database servers and execute your queries and return values 
in the way that is exactly defined inside the JSR standard. Or as another example, the popular object relational mapping or ORM named Hibernate was the introducer and implementer of Java Persistent API or JPA. Other JPA implementations later came to be such as Eclipse Link and OpenJPA. So because the developers are coupled to the JSRs, the implementation could be replaced by some other vendor without touching the client code. One of the aspects that made Java Enterprise Edition platform unique was that it was developed by JCP standard process and everybody was involved in the process. So each Java EE version was an umbrella JSR. So what is an umbrella JSR? Some JSRs do not define any API and they are only a collection of other JSRs, which we call them as umbrella JSR. Like Java EE JSR, which is the collection of JSF, JPA, EJB, CDI, and many more. Other organizations like Eclipse Foundation has their own process for defining and standardizing APIs in their own community with a completely different culture. Like with Jakarta, the JCP process was replaced by Jakarta EE specification process used for further development of Jakarta EE.